78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC, Lions Den Boxing Community. For those who don't know, now you know. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Also, turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. All right. So, we all know we have uh, the Day of Reckoning coming up this weekend. Heavyweight extravaganza. And um, we also know that the Saudis that are putting on this great event also want Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua to face off in March, uh, should both of them be successful in their upcoming bouts. However, once again, the pressure is too much for Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua was doing an interview, and this is what he had to say. Uh, Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder fight is what we're all here expecting to be announced at the end of the night. I go win. That's why I'm focused on not to win. But it's but you said that you'd rather fight for a title than yeah, fight of Wilder. Of course, wouldn't you? I would oh, rather my, see you fight Wilder. Okay, four minutes. To take. The man, Anthony Joshua, was running around. I don't want to play all their interview. You can go check that interview out. It seconds out. Um, check out the whole interview. But um, <clears throat> Anthony Joshua basically said that um, he reiterated that he would rather fight for a title than fight Deontay Wilder. Now, the reason why this is important to understand is that AJ is fighting out of Wileen that's currently ranked um, in the IBF, okay? Now, if Usyk is it's suspected now that Usyk, who's going to fight Tyson Fury, uh, whoever wins that fight, they have a rematch clause. So the IBF may strip the winner of the Usyk versus Fury fight, uh, winner, may strip them and, and let the IBF uh, title become vacant. And then you will have Herkovich versus Joshua or Waleen or whoever for uh, the IBF, the vacant IBF title. Joshua was saying he would rather go that route and become three-time heavyweight champion of the world versus facing uh, Deontay Wilder, a man who the public has been asking him to fight for going on a decade. You know what I mean? Um, this is just more and more cowardly behavior from Anthony Joshua. There's really no excuses. Um, I see a few Joshua fans trying to make excuses for it. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, who wouldn't want to fight for a title? First of all, it's not a real title, okay? It's not a real championship. It's just a title. It's not a championship because – you, we know that you can't beat Alexander Usyk, right? We know that. You fought him twice, and you lost, okay? So if Usyk gets one of the belts taken from him, and then you go pick, run and, you know, pick up the crumbs that fall from Master's table, like how good is What does that make you feel? You proud of that? Deontay, Deontay Wilder was asked the same question. He said, look, I think uh, seconds out asked Deontay Wilder. They said, look, um, you know, this is what AJ had to say. How do you feel? Wilder said, well, at this point, I would much rather fight AJ than fight for a title. And Wilder also said, well, look, man, if the man don't want to fight me, uh, if the fight never happened, then so be it. You know what I'm saying? Um, he said, I wish him the best if the fight don't happen, you know. But at the end of the day, this is the fight I want. Um, you know, it's, it's out of his control, you know. So people know what time it is, right? And people, listen, this is why people uh, question Anthony Joshua's mentality, they question his uh, his mental state, uh, his mental toughness. It's because of this type of stuff. He makes it so obvious that he's afraid of Deontay Wilder. I mean, it, it's, it's no if. And listen, man, I don't care if you like AJ. I don't care if he's your hero. I don't care if he's your favorite fighter. You have a right to like who you want to like, man. But at the end of the day, we got to stop lying here. You know that this man is afraid of Deontay Wilder, right? He's afraid of getting put on a meme. He's afraid. So now they're going through all these shenanigans once again to prolong this fight. The Saudis want this fight right now. AJ and Hearn are the reason why the fight's not happening now. They're the reason why Wilder's fighting uh, uh, Parker and, and AJ's fighting out of Wiley. Because they're trying to align AJ for that vacant IBF title. Okay? If the title becomes vacant. This is what this is about. And it's sad. Like, how long do we have to wait? And if I'm Deontay Wilder, listen, you, you focus on um, beating Joseph Parker. After that, you know, you call out AJ. If this man don't want to fight you, I would leave it alone forever. I, I would never, ever revisit this Anthony Joshua situation again. Um, you know, if both guys come out of this 
successful. I would not ever revisit this AJ drama again if this man doesn't step up to the plate and fight. You know what I mean? Because this is shameful. And in every real boxing fan knows that this is shameful behavior by Anthony Joshua. Right? And we all knew it was coming. We all knew it was coming. See, that now before they could lie and manipulate stuff when it was just up to match room and, 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 and you know, their word against Deontay Wilders, everybody wanted to believe what they want to believe. Now you have the Saudis who are willing to stage the fight, put up the money, get to the location. You got nothing to worry about. There's no excuse not to make this fight. Now, now everything gets exposed for what it really is. It's not business. What's really happening here is there's cowardice. Okay. There's coward behavior. Now I see people saying, "Oh, I see some guy in the chat in the, one of the chats saying some stuff about, oh, oh, oh why did Duck AJ, why did Duck AJ uh, first and uh, um, Wilder, he he, um, he turned down the, uh, the, the the fight with AJ, the, the zone deal and this and that. First of all, look, I hate to have to go through all this over again. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing again. Um, I was here for the whole thing. Okay, I don't know if you guys Johnny come lately or what. But Deontay Wilder accepted um, a sucker's deal, which was a flat rate of, I think, $12.5 million, okay? Um, Deontay Wilder finally accepted it on AJ's terms, right? Fight could be in the U.K., all of that, right? And they told them on, like, I think it was a Thursday or something, okay, that we're going to uh, – we accept, but we're going to uh, review this uh, contract – Make sure that everything is how we, you know, how we want it, and then we will have it back to you on Monday. And Eddie Hearn had the WBA put come out with a statement saying we need the paperwork back by Friday because uh, we're going to order AJ to face Alexander Povetkin. And then magically they say that Deontay Wilder's time had run out, and AJ he does, AJ does, he can't get stripped. He don't want to get stripped, man. He has to uh, uh, fight his mandatory. Anybody that believes that, anybody that believes that is, is a weirdo. Okay, first and foremost, no way, no how would the WBA have stripped Anthony Joshua for fighting Deontay Wilder, the WBC champion. It wasn't going to happen. It was just a clever way for them to get out of the fight. All right? They thought Wilder wasn't going to take the fight, and when he did, they still pulled out. So they did stuff like that for years. Okay? Now, um, after the zone deal, um, yes, the zone did offer Wilder uh, a nice bag. Um, however, the problem was when the D- zone even came out and apologized to Deontay Wilder for, be- for being unprofessional, they could not answer Deontay Wilder's legitimate business questions. And you had a lot of uh, silly people running around the internet. Oh, Wilder turned down. Why Wilder didn't take it? Look, just because you would take and sign your life away, right? Just don't put that on Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder asked them simple business questions, and the zone was not prepared to answer those questions. They even apologized to Wilder and said that was not Deontay Wilder's fault. That was our fault because we should have had answers to those questions. Right? You don't leave one network where you're comfortable, go to a new one, and they can't answer simple business questions. That was the zone's fault. And that's why uh, Deontay Wilder didn't sign that contract. However, even if he did sign that contract to go over to the zone, okay, he wasn't going to get the AJ fight. You know why? Because Anthony Joshua, in his next fight, lost to Andy Ruiz. And you know what happened then? He had to have a rematch with Andy Ruiz. Okay? So he was Wilder wasn't going to get the fight anyway. And, and who cares about the past at this point? Only thing that matters right now is right now, currently, they have a chance to make this fight, and Anthony Joshua does not seem to be interested, and that's a shame. It really is, man. But you know, uh, hopefully, both of them come out of this situation unscathed. Some people are even suggesting that uh, AJ might take. <laughs> they say AJ might lose on purpose just to avoid Wilder. <laughs> Man, it can't be that bad, man. It can't be that bad, man. Um, you know. But anyway, AJ threatened back in the day, he threatened to freeze out Deontay Wilder if Wilder wouldn't would, would stop mentioning his name and stop calling him out or 
If Wilder's not careful, we'll just freeze him out. He won't have nobody to fight. That's what he said. And, and everybody clapped and laughed about it. And Wilder went and uh, resurrected Tyson Fury. You know? But anyway, that's my two cents on the matter. Y'all let me know what y'all think. 78 Sports TV. Salute to the mighty LGBC. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll fight the producers.